Hey guys, it's Unknown HD, and we're going to be talking about the closed alpha for Delta Force Hawk Ops. Although there is a ton of hype around the game itself right now, there is an interesting catch that they have implemented, and I believe it's only for alpha, but stay tuned to see what that is. So what we're going to be talking about today is the performance, how that actually happens within your system, how the, the engine the game's built on, the FPS, how does it feel, right? Uh, the effects the game has, so explosions, gunfire, smoke... Uh, so on and so forth. Uh, following that is the sounds in the game. So directional audio, uh, shooting of guns, the footsteps, right? Those are very important when it comes to the extraction shooter. Following that is the extraction game mode itself. I'm going to hit on that specifically today. So how does this game perform, right? So I have a 3080 Ti, so I haven't had any issues with the game for the most part. In the Havoc Warfare game mode, I did have a few frame uh, drop issues, but it was just when there was a major stuff going on, uh, lots of explosions all at once, lots of smokes all at once, right? Um, and I, I just chalk it up to could be a, a frame issue for the alpha, right? Something that can be easily fixed. It wasn't anything unmanageable. I was able to still play the game. Uh, following this, the game is on or is made on Unreal Engine 5, oddly enough. The game looks fantastic. It feels fantastic. The movement is actually really smooth. It's very straight to the point. It's not a lot of, uh, uh, so to speak, hoopla, if you want to call it. There's no diving. There's no sliding. There's no uh, dashing. Um, the, the game just feels really smooth. It feels like an actual tactical shooter. And then in the battlefield, um, there is such a thing as tactical sprint. And we'll touch on that a little bit later as well. So when it comes to the effects in the game, there is explosions, gunfire, smokes. It all looks fantastic, right? Um, you can see tracers flying around, which can allow you to pinpoint where players are located. And these effects haven't caused any performance issues uh, for the most part, as I said before. And especially in the tactical uh, extraction shooter, there has not been any issues that I've seen there when it comes to frame rate uh, problems. Uh, following that is the sound. So in the sound I've actually had some issues with directional audio. In the extraction game mode, it's very important because you're trying to pinpoint where the enemy is so you can, you know, take a fight that you want to take, right? Or the enemy is doing it to you, unfortunately. But it's very similar to Tarkov in the sense that you need that direction. Uh, that direction is very important or the type of material you're walking on is very important. Well, in this game, the directional audio is there. It's just not distance oriented is what I found. So I've had some issues with uh, individuals being a lot farther away than what they sound and vice versa. They sound farther away and they're right around the corner, right? So I don't know if this is the same type of sound system that other games have implemented. For example, CSGO or CS2, Counter-Strike uh, 2, their sound system is through walls. So walls don't matter. You can hear it, uh, so on and so forth. And Rainbow Six Siege, their sounds bounce off of walls. So completely different audio types of games. And Escape from Tarkov is definitely ever-changing on theirs. Um, walls matter, but there's certain uh, walls that are more cushioned than others. Y you understand. Uh, so the directional auto is a little, uh, little out there. I've only had two situations, and odd oddly enough, it was the opposite of each one. So one was farther away and one was closer up than I thought. Um, but other than that, actually, everything sounds good. Uh, the gunfire, the tanks, uh, everything you want to imagine throwing, the player talking, the actual dialogue itself, uh, all of that actually sounds good. And oddly enough as well, the voice in-game is actually really good too. So when you actually get partnered up in a, the tactical shooter, the extraction game mode, you actually can talk to your teammates if they have mics and stuff and can hear you. Um, the ex the actual voice in game does sound uh, normal and actually clear, so you can hear what they're saying. Uh, some games uh, miss that, so uh, it, that's a nice touch. I did like that, especially for an alpha. Um, and then uh, it needs a little work overall, but everything in general when it comes to sounds does sound amazing, <laughs> lack of a better term. But uh, let's move on to specifically the extraction game mode. So Havoc Warfare has this... <laughs> I'm going to start off with Havoc Warfare because it has this tactical sprint and it makes you, you know, move faster. And it's this, this tactical sprint you can do for a longer duration and it makes the game just a faster paced game mode, right? Well, in the tactical or extraction shooter, the tactical sprint's there, but it's like two seconds or not very much at all, uh, depending on what's going on. 
which is a little weird to get used to because if you play one and then play the other, it's a little weird, especially coming from the Havoc Warfare to the Extraction Shooter when you're trying to sprint away from enemies and you just stop and start walking. It's kind of annoying. Um, but the normal sprinting speed is there, but the tactical sprint is a little weird transitioning from one to the other. Um, following that, the solution is is probably an operator choice i would say to that so if you wanted to do a tactical sprint or move faster uh there is an operator in the game that's special ability is to move a lot faster and jump farther uh so you could just you know switch and play that character and whenever you're in a gunfight you know select them and use the ability so it would make up for the slow paced game mode that it is trying to be uh, there is a lot of more tactical gameplay and using of utility versus uh, Havoc Warfare. It's just kind of uh, just throw everything, right? <laughs> um, following that is the PvP. In the extraction game mode, uh, the v PvP can be found almost every game. Uh, whether it be you running away or you taking the fight to somebody and actually uh, you know, winning the fight or anything... The PvP is found in almost every game. The reason why I say this is because they actually did a really good job. The developers made missions and vaults uh, across the map to be found by everyone. And if you look on the map when you start the game, you'll see these vaults. These lo vault locations are public knowledge. You can go to these locations and they're central to the map. And you can get some really quality uh, valuables and or uh, gear uh, slash equipment that you need to upgrade your base. Right. So this actually draws in a lot of players to these locations. You can come across players just coming from a vault. You can come across players going to a vault. It depends on what your style of gameplay is, but it allows for a lot of PvP in that sense. So I love that. So my final thoughts overall, I believe the Escape from Tarkov is the game for the slower paced tactical extraction shooter. Uh, with a realistic feel to it and Delta Force Hawk Ops is the same style of game mode but not as realistic it's more of an arcadey type shooter I still enjoy the game I think it's got its own aspects that are fantastic same thing with Tarkov and I think everyone should try out both games and see how they feel for both of them but what's the interesting catch that the game is actually doing well I hope it's just for alpha and I assume it is It's just for alpha to get players to feel like it's a normal game and actually get the aspect of the game itself out there. What is they're doing is they're actually adding bots to the game. There's bots in Havoc Warfare as well as the extraction shooter. You can see in the clip that I'm talking over right now. I believe when I was attacking these guys because they were actually attacking us. They were very bot like uh, they moved very slow. They moved very tactical they all aimed at the same thing whatever was in their view at the time when they started shooting uh it was just very bot like right um so other than that i would say i hope it's just an alpha thing uh just so people can get the experience of the game and yeah there's a few bots to fill some lobbies uh but other than that i think the game's a great game i am excited for its release and thank you everyone for watching and i hope you guys have a great and fantastic day. Please leave a like and comment on anything that you think I should talk about or that anything I missed. I am excited to keep making content for you guys. And I, as again, I greatly appreciate all of you. Thanks, guys.